What was that? Hey, VC. What, welcome back. This is Uptunes. I'm Mike. Uh, welcome back. Uh, hope everyone's doing well. Uh, I, I haven't done a straight up jazz video for a while. And I know I do have a lot of subs and people who watch who do like jazz. So um, I, I decided I was going to do a series of my top 40 favorite jazz records. And that's impossible to do because it's constantly changing. And I also didn't feel like pulling out 40 records. <laughs> I, I still enjoy making these videos, but man, pulling out all these records and then putting them all back is a pain in the ass. And I'm neurotic. I can't have records like laying around. I have to pull them out and put them right back. I, I don't like leaving records in piles anywhere. And I have three cats, so they will chew on the plastic sleeves if I leave them laying like at cat level. And everything is at cat level in, in this house, <laughs> even like those up there. Um, okay, so what I decided to do was I'm just going to start a series of uh, random jazz pulls. Uh, I'm going to pull 10 records. Uh, actually, I think I pulled 12. Uh, we'll do 12 records. I'll just randomly pull 12 jazz records out of the uh, stacks. I, you guys can't see it, but I have 8, 9, 12. 12 cubes over there, and then I have um, a table over. I don't know. Can I do this? Oh, I also have those over there. Those are all my tone poets, Japanese imports, and music matters. And then, I don't know if you can see it, but that's all jazz over there too. Wow, that was like a, man, Hope Tunes is getting technical. That was pretty cool. One year in the VC and that's how much I do. Okay, back to what I was saying. Uh, so I'm just gonna do 10, uh, 12 random jazz pulls and we'll talk about whatever the hell I pull. It's kind of like whack-a-mole, except you don't see me pull. Uh, first, and it's not that random. I did look at them. Uh, this is, um, this is uh, Charles Ireland. Uh, Black, uh, Black Talk, this is a pretty cool record. I love, this is soul jazz. He is a, uh, a organ player. Um, a great lineup on this record too. Virgil Jones on trumpet, Houston Pearson on t uh, tenor sax, Melvin Sparks on guitar, Idris Muhammad on drums, Buddy Caldwell on conga. So it's, it's very soul jazz but it's got a, a great like vibe with the congas on it. It's really cool. This is a great record. I don't, I don't know if it's, I don't think this is, it's, it's pretty old. I don't know. I've had this a long time. It's a great record. I should actually play it more. Maybe that'll be a good thing to come out of this series. I'll play records more. One of my favorite jazz records. This is uh, Joe Farrell uh, Quartet, Chick Corea, Jack DeJanette, Dave Holland, John McLaughlin on guitar. This is a stunning record. I think it's just called Joe Farrell Quartet. It's on CTI. Um, really, really cool record. I highly recommend this. If you guys have never heard this record, Definitely pick it up. It's one of my favorite CTI records. Uh, this is, I'm not a huge um, orchestral person. I don't, I, I like some of Duke Ellington stuff. I like the Gil Evans is, is okay. I, I The Miles Davis stuff with like Gil Evans is kind of like not my favorite. Um, but this, if you guys have ever heard this record, this is the Duke, this is just Duke Ellington. Uh, sweet, what is it called? The Afro-Eurasian Afro Eclipse, a suite in eight parts. This is unreal. If you guys, this is cool ass jazz. It's got a great African beat. It's got Duke Ellington with the orchestra and it's a big lineup too. It's on fantasy. I highly recommend this record. Um, he's got a huge, huge uh, band with him. I mean, it's 12, 12, 12 people. It came out in 1975, but I recommend this. I, I don't see a lot of people giving this love, but this is a great record. Uh, this is a cool record, too. I used to, I had this on um, CD when I was a kid. I had this. Yeah, this is pretty cool. This is, um, I don't even know what it's called. I think it's just called... Yeah, I don't even know if this is title. I just self titled this Jaco Pistorius, Pat Metheny, Bruce Ditmus, and Paul Blay. Really cool 
fusion-ish, Pat Metheny-ish, great vibe to it. Excellent, excellent record. Um, this one's cool. I found this at a store. I remember the day I found this. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Because you don't see a lot of Art Blakey on Impulse out in the wild. This is a great record. Uh, the, the A Jazz Message, uh, Art Blakey Quartet featuring McCoy Tyner, Sonny Stitt, and Art Davis. You really don't see a lot of um, Art Blakey on, uh, on Impulse. Pretty cool record. Um, I, I think it's an OG, too. It's in mono. Yeah, it's a great record. I haven't listened to this for a while. I, you know, I need to play that. Okay. <laughs> uh, one of my favorite jazz albums of all time. It's Cannonball Adderley with Bill Evans. Uh, know What I Mean. Great, great artwork. I uh, love, 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 love this record. This is on uh, Milestone. Uh, this is actually a Japanese pressing, I believe. Yeah, yeah, this is a Japanese pressing. Great record. Really good record. If you guys are Cannonball Adderley fans. It's a must-have in your collection. Um, pulled this. This is a Japanese pressing also. This is uh, Donald Bird. I like Donald Bird a lot. This gets a little little out there for me. It is... Um, it's pre-jazz. This is pretty far out for me. Um, I do listen to it every once in a while, but mm, it's not totally my thing. But I know it's considered one of his best albums. Uh, people rave about this record. It's just not in my wheelhouse. Uh, next up, the Swingin' Sounds of Shelly Mann and His Men. I like Shelly Mann. I like some of that West Coast uh, jazz groove. This is on Contemporary. I just pre-ordered a bunch of those uh, pre uh, Contemporary reissues that are coming out. I think I got them all. I, maybe I just got two. I got the poll winners and a couple other ones. But, um, yeah, really cool stuff. Uh, just fun, fun West Coast jazz. Much different than East Coast. Uh, one of my... I love this record. This is just serious soul jazz. Uh, this is Soul Sisters Gloria Coleman Quartet featuring Paula Roberts. Great record on Impulse. Soul jazz, organ-based. Um, Grant Green is on guitar. Uh, Leo Wright on alto sax, and of course Gloria Coleman on organ, and Paula Roberts on drums. This is a really cool record. I don't see people talk about this very much. I love, love, love this stuff. Very similar, kind of in the Grant, Grant um, <laughs> I don't know, what was I going to say? I have no idea. Uh, great soul jazz record. I was a big soul jazz person for a very long time. When I first started getting into jazz, because a lot of it has great organ and some like this one has great guitar work on it, and um, I was I gravitated when I first started getting into jazz. I really gravitated to soul jazz a lot. Uh, this is my favorite Art Blakey record, probably an unpopular opinion. I don't care. I love it. Um, I mean, obviously, it's, uh, I, this is phenomenal. I, I just think this gets really overlooked. This is indestructible. Art Blakey and the Jazz Messengers, Lee Morgan, Curtis, Curtis Fuller, Wayne Shorter, Cedar Walton, Reggie Workman. Great record. This is a, um, I think this was an 80 reissue. I think it was an 80. I don't think it was a classic yet, but really cool record. Sounds fantastic. Love Art Blakey. Uh, next to uh, this one, I pulled this because I actually got to see this girl in concert. Um, she was playing with Micaiah McCraven at the Jazz Showcase here in Chicago. And this is um, Desron Douglas and Brandy Younger. Brandy Younger is a absolutely wonderful, wonderful harp player. And this, this record is stunningly beautiful. I think it came out last year. And I was going to put it on my um, favorite records of last year, and I could not find it in the collection. And then when I go to do a random poll, I found it. Um, it was mostly because I had it filed under E, <laughs> and it should have been under D. But um, great, kind of, I don't want to say free jazz because I've, I've told you guys so much I'm not crazy about free jazz. Uh, it's more of that modern day free jazz. I just love it. Absolutely love it. Uh, very spiritual. Maybe we'll go with spiritual over free. Uh, international Anthem. 
great record company out of Chicago here. Um, anything I, everything I've bought off of, from International Anthem is terrific, and this is absolutely a stunning, beautiful record. And last one. This is not in here because it's on my turntable right now. This is part of the... Um... <laughs> okay, it's not me. Uh, this is part of the uh, Black Jazz reissue campaign that's been going on for a couple years now. I Every one of these that I've picked up, I've picked up probably six of them. I love every single one of them. This is my favorite, though. This is Calvin Key's um, Sean Nick... Nick, Nick. Uh, great black jazz, very soulful, guitar oriented, excellent, excellent record. Uh, some of them, some of them get a little out there. Some of these reissues uh, on the black jazz label, some do get out, kind of out there and free. But this one, this is straightforward uh, soul jazz. A lot of soul jazz I pulled today, huh? Uh, but this is a great one, Calvin Keys. I highly recommend this. He's a terrific guitarist. Um, Calvin Keys on guitar, Bob Bray on drums, Lawrence Evans on bass, Larry Nash, electric piano. He's terrific. And then there's a flute player, uh, Owen Marshall. Uh, just, yeah, if you guys see these, they're not cheap. I mean, they're, I think they're, they're close to $30, I think. Um, but sound great. And I'm, like I said, I, not one have I been disappointed in. Um, so that was it. Little jazz video for my jazz peeps, and um, we'll just keep doing it. Just randomly, you know, 12 records, 10 records here and there. Instead of doing a countdown, I don't like ranking, because then, first of all, it invites the trolls. And I just, like I said, my, my taste in jazz is constantly evolving and changing, and so I really can't, I couldn't really do a top, top 30, <laughs> or even a top 40. So uh, we'll just do it this way and have fun with it, and you, maybe you'll see some rare, weird stuff that you've never heard of before, and I'll turn you on to some new music, because that's really all this is all about. Guys, stay safe, stay well. Questions, comments, snide remarks in the comments. See you soon.